Diva Search. It was just announced Tough Enough actually is going to be on USA. SmackDown is moving to USA. USA is the wrestling channel now. It's like it's like WWE Network. No longer too. suits, ladies and gentlemen. No more suits. <laughs> oh, but they're still gonna have sirens, though. Can't forget about sirens. We're gonna bring back the silk stockings. You watch it. Yes. Um, La Femme Nikita. Let's do this. Uh, bring it back to the '90s, guys. But um, USA Up All Night, hosted by Ronda Rosa Shield. Mendez. Rosa Mendez. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh Bobby, no. Rosa Mendez and Santino Morello. It would be tremendous. Oh, I was gonna say Gilbert Gottfried again, but okay. Gilbert. Why not? Why not? Um, but anyway, so, but they got a whole uh, lineup here. Uh, they're they're going to have an adult TVMA Seth Green pushed Camp WWE cartoon. Why do a cartoon that's MA? Because they can. Archer. It, Arch. There you go. Maybe it's because. It, well, I feel like I feel like it's because of the fact that it's on the network. Maybe they're leaning towards a more adult audience. I, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I got. I I can see. I mean, maybe not. I but if like I have that. a kid and he turns on the network and it's a cartoon, he's totally watching it. Well, that's true. And that's why you the, use parental well, controls. There's also, there's also parental controls. Yeah, too. yeah. But, so can I, can I unlock that parental control to watch it? No, Bobby, you don't know my password. Okay. <laughs> and this is why. You ruined everything. <laughs> Bobby, is that a dog in the background? That is my cat. Oh, okay. Hi. That's Penny. Hi, we had the dog on the last show, oh, okay. um, but but no, I think well to that to that. Why are they doing this M M M M A M A stuff? Because they got that. They got the Jerry Springer too hot for TV. Um, wasn't there another one they're doing that's that's kind of more risque? Uh, Didn't the Jerry Springer think, thing seem just like a clip show? Though it's going to be a clip show with Jerry Springer. It's a, it's completely yeah. what's going to be. But they're going to show that old stuff they can't show anymore because it was Attitude Era when they were allowed to do that. Of course, and bloody stuff, and and who knows what else. It's going to be it's going to be like. A, I don't know. It's going to be like, hey, remember the stupid thing? They're going to do the chopped a wee wee thing, you know, <laughs> and, and, and those kinds of scenes. And Jerry's going to, of course, is going to watch him for the first time, react. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's an interesting way to resurface that stuff. And I mean, the, they can make, I don't even know how many clip shows, like our WB countdowns and WrestleMania rewinds and everything, and just reuse all that content they're sitting on and resurface it a little bit. It's a good, it's not, actually a good strategy. Not even just the WWE stuff. They have. Do you remember all the crazy shit that happened in WCW? <laughs> That's true, and too. ECW. And ECW? Yeah. Jesus. That's true. Uncensored ECW stuff? It would go perfectly there. The and, the and it, so, away, so dance you, to top the ECW arena. You have, <laughs> you, you have that. I'm hardcore. I'll take them both. You have that. You have the camp WWE. <laughs> you have the camp WWE. That's TVMA. You're filling that audience that wants the Attitude Era back. I one reliving the Attitude Era, maybe the stuff they didn't see in the Attitude Era to begin with. You see, a lot of it's very much like Attitude Era content too, mm-hmm. like like the stuff that they but they you know put out there is more for that sort of generation of, of wrestling fans. I feel it is. Yeah, it is. Those, I feel like those are the that's the main audience buying the network. They're you know mm-hmm. the adults now who grew up on this stuff. They have the money to spend and they want to relive their childhood. They're, they're super well, serving those people that want those things. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. um, you can get they're in there also, and see oh. that. You can get in there and see you know. Uh, you know, Triple H has admitted that the, the NXT fan base is a is a hardcore fan base that are paying nine ninety nine, and no matter what they say, no matter how much they push it, it is the hardcore that's going to put down that money. I think so. Like easily, you know, the the people that aren't uh, dissuaded by seeing Raw every week and like, ah, it's not for me anymore. You know, has have you guys ever been to an NXT show? I have not. Nobody here, now. but our yeah. friends, the Carlins, have. Yeah. You have been. Yes, I have. You been. guys have. Let's take a round of a, yeah, <laughs> I've been, and you know what? It is such a different atmosphere. Is it okay? The, the, how close does it just feel like an indie show with a budget? It it's very similar it because like, but first like a of feel, you know, yeah, it's so like, similar because the fans know all the chance they know. I mean, they're on it. They are like definitely keyed into the show. Mm-hmm. Now I wonder what's going to happen when they travel more. I, you know, I, I there was um, the show they did before WrestleMania. I thought was flat crowd wise. I didn't think the crowd was into it. I, I just there was no feel to it. I thought. Um, well, the show they did before WrestleMania was back. Are you talking about the? What was back? Are you on, talking about the Cleveland one or the uh, no, one the, right before WrestleMania? Because that was at uh, back at Full Sail. No, the one. No, they did one the week of WrestleMania. Wait, no, it wasn't the club. It wasn't the club. It wasn't there on the road thing, was it? With Owens and uh, um, Finn Balor? 
Yeah, I thought that was from their. I thought that was no. live there from. Uh, no. That was Cleveland. No, 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 that was the ending. No. That was the. That was the last. That was the last show they were taping. Yeah, technically taping those were filmed so, out of order. Usually right? the. Well, they yeah, filmed the, the Cleveland one was filmed after those shows, right? Well, oh. they filmed like I don't know, like three or four shows. Right, right. So like that's the, where I went. I went to Full Sail. Right, and yeah, so they have them weeks in advance. Yeah, they and they did a weird mix-up thing because I know the one last week. Obviously, they had no time to tape that in between all these other uh, Cleveland ones or anything. But no, I thought the one before was a live one from um, from somewhere no, in California. No, no, it was the last one with. Baller Owens was from Full Sail. Okay, and it was at the it was at the very end of the taping, yeah. so usually they actually, the crowds are kind of dead around that. They actually um, advertised it. They advertised that this week the NXT they're going to show the one from Access. Right, mm -hmm. right. So that should be an insane crowd. Right, because there's a bunch, a bunch of heard, people that want to see it. They were chanting NXT, and even the Columbus one, the crowd was there and into it, and they drew, they drew a crazy crowd. Um, yeah, and, and there was a lot of comment on like, no, people are here to see these guys. They're not here to see Triple H as much as they're here to see these guys, and they have their own fan base. And I think it's pretty tremendous, and we're seeing like guys like Neville popping up and doing tremendous stuff already. So, um, well, let's go down the list a little bit more on this. Like I said, Tough Enough is coming back. It's going to be more interactive. Is it true Austin's not going to be on Tough Enough? Yeah. That breaks my heart. 